come and fall in love. Fall in love with the sea and the people's generosity. Breathe in nature's pure air. Inspire in breathtaking landscapes. And listen to the beat of your heart. Five of the seven natural wonders finalists are in the Azores. Come and discover why all the islands are a stage of wonders. seven of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge, the Rally of the Azores. The Azores a volcanic outcrop based right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and it's a Portuguese enclave. It's also one of the most demanding gravel rallies in the series and it's the third so far this year to be held on an island. That's next rally also on an island that'll be coming up in Madeira. Here, though, it's about the gravel, 19 stages, three days, and 226 kilometers of it. It is fast and demanding. Well, as we said, it is the third rally this year to take place in the IRC on an island. Canaries and Sardinia, now to the Azores. This is a well-known holiday destination. It's also a well-known and favourite rally destination as well. Being around round box and inside in a couple of small villages, the second stage is an identical stage to last year. It's very, very loose now. It's a tricky stage and be a disadvantage of us running uh, first in the road. And the super special is inside in the, the big quarry where everybody looks down from above, and uh, it's a it's actually a very good super special. The stages are fantastic. The surface is very very good. 
and uh, in this beautiful island I, I expect a, a very very good rally with uh, many people supporting us because you are in, we are in our in our country so but we'll see what we can do uh, it's, it's my my first rally this year that I have been uh, before so I will try to, to do good rally and, uh, and to do a good result. This time here and I really have to say I really really like the island and to go rallying in this place will be fantastic. I think victory will be too much to ask but if, uh, if we come on the podium that will be an amazing result for us. and maintain his good rhythm in the Ford still clearly tuned in to the flow of the road and his car just 0.4 off second after stage 5 the 14 seconds loss on stage 6 opened up the margin enormously and gave him a major threat he also posted his best results since the start of the rally at the beginning of day 2 after 9th and 2 8th fastest times on day 1 Mura was 6 quickest through stage 4 16 seconds slower than the Galas holding on to 9th place overall Day two of Rally of the Azores and the action moves westwards around the rim of the crater of the long extinct volcano that created this island and the Blue Lagoon that sits at its heart. Some dramatic roads. ...to be struggling to find a rhythm. He lost four seconds in stage five, three in stage six. All of which left him 20 seconds adrift with the leader. Little by little, Juha Hananen was nibbling away at his teammates as the Skodas battled for second. The gap, 7.5 after stage 8, came down to 3.8 after 9, even though he said that the last stage of the day didn't really suit his driving style. Presumably not enough. A moment of glory for the Portuguese championship leader. Remaining six on the leaderboard, a minute and three off the top. Skodas, Juha Hananen set the second pass this time, then four seconds slower, moving into an 18-second lead over Bruno Magalhães. Looks as though the rally was finally starting to come his way.